Yeah. Hi, comic book fans, and welcome to oh, wait, another... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. No, wait. <laughs> it is switched on, Alan. So um, I know we did a whole video where I hadn't switched the stuff on, and we had to repeat it, but it is on this time. Okay, we good. are in a Chinese restaurant in Soho in Chinatown. Um, we have just been comic shopping. We went to two comic shops. We went to the big Forbidden Planet, uh, but the, and we showed that the comics that we got there, which are mostly new comics, they don't do back issues. Uh, and that video is over on Adam, Alan's channel. So when you've finished watching this video, okay. you can go over and watch Alan's video and see our other comics we picked up at Forbidden, Forbidden Planet. But we also went to Gosh Comics on Berwick Street in London. Um, that uh, back when I used to visit Soho, it used to be a sex club, right? <laughs> So it's improved dramatically. It is now a comic. Show. Actually, I think I would have preferred the sex club, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, there would have been more scandal of five women. More scandal of women. But right. we sold comics too. Okay, so uh, okay. Alan, would you like to show us your first pickup? I will show my first one. Actually, this is a comic that I was looking for. Okay. Um, it's called Red Nails, number one. And it's like, basically, it's like a, a more um, adult version of Conan the Barbarian. So I, I, I thought this was kind of cool, and it's the number one issue. They didn't have the other issues. I would have bought the whole set, but uh, they just had this one. So Red Nails, number one. Never heard of it. Yeah, it's kind of. I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah, great. Okay, so my first pickup um, is is a Mark Miller, and I think Mark Miller stuff is all good spec because um, Netflix purchased the whole Mark Miller back catalog. Uh, and they have done a few Mark Miller things. Um, they did Super Crooks recently as a manga. That was really good. That it was good. Really, it was, was really, really good. good. I, I really, enjoyed it. Did you... I bought the set after. I was like, oh, I got to have this comic. It's just such a great, great series. Yeah, I bought it uh, 18 months ago. So, yeah, um, it was great. Another Mark Miller property that I think is owned by Netflix is Prodigy. Um, these stickers, by the way, are on the bags, not on the comics. Um, I've already got the full set of those, but uh, it's a different cover version that I've got. And this is number one, and for three pounds thirty-five, what's that? Five dollars? Not too bad. Not bad. Yeah, good pickup. Okay, so my next one, I just, I, I think I have this, but this is a different uh, variant. This is uh, Batgirl um, number twenty-eight. I just thought it was such a great kind of reminds me of the nineties foil. Yeah, 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 like yeah, that kind of. There's a Batman 300, I believe, or Batman 400. Or yeah, that I've got like a Batman 400. Yes, yeah, it is Batman 400. Yeah, Batman 400. That kind of reminded me of And so it's part like, cut out as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just it reminded me. It was very nostalgic by. I kind of liked it. I just thought it was a really great pose, too. So this is Batgirl number 28. Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed he got there before I did. I quite like that one. Actually, they still have it. No, no. <laughs> I, I actually did. He did actually find a few comics for me. Um, right, I'm going to show three comics at the same time here because it's going to otherwise be a bit boring. So these are basically all the same run. Um, this is Detective Comics uh, New 52. Um, I quite like those new 52. I've got quite a lot of the Batman New 52s mm -hmm. with the Court of Owls, but I haven't got any of those Detective Comics New 52s. So they had, uh, I've got issue two, issue three. Um, issue five. Um, That's quite a nice, cover. quite a nice. Um, yeah, like um, penguin. penguin and Batman. A penguin split. and Batman yeah, cover. Yeah. Um, was penguin in the new Batman movie. Yes, yeah, he, he was. was. Yeah, yeah, Colin Farrell. Yeah, Colin Farrell. Didn't look like Didn't Colin. Didn't look like Colin Farrell, but uh, Colin Farrell in a lot of makeup. Right. Uh, so there we go. That's for my uh, three Batman from the new Fifty Two. Nice. And this one I stole from her. I actually stole this. I was like, yoink. <laughs> so I collect homage covers. And when uh, Mark picked this up, he's like, hey, I found something really great that I always wanted. I'm like, OK, good. I'm going to steal that from you. Um, <laughs> so I saw this. I was like, wow, that's, that is one that I actually wanted to get. I, somebody had made an homage uh, cover video uh, in relation to the fact that I was doing that. And I was like, wow, I, I, um, I really love this cover. I just, this is like a Swamp Thing, um, homage cover. And I guess it reprints the whole story inside does, as well. Yeah. So just a really great cover. 
I think this is a variant as well. It's the variant here, is it? I don't think it is. I thought it's the main cover. Oh, oh okay. Main uh, cover, I guess. I, I, in fact, I have pre-recorded my March 10 spec comics. And, and this is... to give you a sneak preview. This is it? That is in my 10 spec comics for March. This is a great comic. Uh, and he's picked it up for £4, which is a really good... Okay. That's about what you can pick it up for. And I think it's a really good spec. Yeah, it's a really great one. So I thought that was cool. Right. So this is one that um, Alan pointed in my direction. <laughs> good girl art. Okay. It's good. <laughs> surprise, surprise. It's good girl art. This is a really nice cover. I really like this. Haven't seen this before. It's a fat girl. 32. It is a variant cover. I think it's Daniel Cho. Oh, Jan is it? Something like that. I right. think so. Very nice. Yeah, that. So, a really nice uh, fat girl variant cover. Um, £2.50. Yeah, it's less than cover price, I suspect. Yeah, it's a little bit less. Yeah, cover price $4, so 2 dollars is a bit less than cover price. Nice. nice. When you can pick up things for undercover, it's I always know. good. It's always yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to show a bunch together as well. Um, I picked up a bunch of She-Hulks. I got some bonded She-Hulk. I'm not sure if I have this one already, but I just really like these bondage covers. So, pick that one up. And then this one, this one Mark tried to annoy me with because he, he showed this on our challenge video that we did. Yeah. Today. And I was like, oh, I got to get this and get it when I'm with Mark. So that's even, even cooler. So this is the one with uh, Howard the Duck. And he's in the car and he's over here. And then you got Miss uh, She-Hulk right there. And she's in the car as well. So it's kind of cool. So it's like uh, it's a really cool, cool cover. So that's She-Hulk number 16. Right. This is one Alan found. I think that's uh, a big he one. Knows, he knows I collect, uh, I'm collecting Namor. Uh, so although this is an Avengers comic, got a fantastic Namor cover. And he's looking really, really grumpy. <laughs> Here we go. This is Avengers 270. Two pounds. Who can argue at two pounds? And look at that. Namor is looking really grumpy. Somebody's probably stolen his favourite goldfish. Or <laughs> so uh, there we go. Um, Avengers 270 in pretty decent name. Yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, two pounds. I think that's. Uh, I think that's probably the big, big pickup. I of think it. that that could be the bargain pickup of the day. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I have to get my sexy girls. I'm not sure if you noticed that about me, but. I thought this one was just a really nice Conan cover. I just picked it up for the cover. I haven't actually seen that until he picked it out. He got he was hiding that one. Oh yeah, yeah okay. So I was wondering whether he needed to edit it. But... There's no censoring required. She censors herself with her hair. Um, this is Conan number two. I just thought it was a really nice cover. Yeah, it is a nice I cover. I really like that one. Right. This is one Alan told me I needed to get. Um, who's the, is this an Adam Hughes? Did this Adam? Uh, uh, J. Scott Campbell. J. Scott Campbell. So this is um, Mary Jane and Black Cat Beyond, number one. Uh, really, it is a nice, it is a nice cover. Joe Scott Campbell, uh, I presume it's a variant. Oh, it might be the main cover. I think it's the main cover. It's the main cover. Um, yeah, really nice. Joe yeah, Scott Campbell art, and of course Alan picked it out, so it has it's good girl art. <laughs> My influence is kind of full, but okay. Uh, and then I just picked this one up. Yeah. I believe it's, um, does it say? It doesn't say. Um, but this is uh, Silver Surfer number 36. I think this is one of the Jim Starling. I think it's a Jim Starling. I think it's within the Jim Starling run on, uh, on Silver Surfer. But I thought that was kind of cool. So that was it. That's my that's my haul. Okay, I bought more than Alan. You got more than me. Uh, but I haven't got to carry mine back to Canada. <laughs> right. Uh, so this is a, a Batman New Fifty Two Zero. I mm -hmm. haven't seen it before. I'm a big Batman fan, as you know. So uh, I thought I'd pick up Batman New Fifty Two Zero. Still one. Right. Alan picked up some sensational three Hulks. I saw this. It was actually on the wall. This one. This is the most expensive pickup of the day. And it's a good pickup. Um, Number two, and yeah. it's really a good price. Yeah, I, I think this is a good price as well. And it's incredible. And it's 
Yeah. Pretty minty coffee. Pretty, pretty nice. So, Sensational She-Hulk number two. I've got Sensational She-Hulk number one, which is quite pricey now. Uh, this is Sensational She-Hulk number two. And it was on the wall for eight pounds, which I think is pretty good. That's a great deal. Great. That's a, no, see, that's a really great deal. Yeah. Right. And finally. This is a nice one. I didn't see this one. Yeah. This, this is the Huntress, is it? This is the Huntress. So, this is Batman's Secret Files, The Huntress. Um, it's got a five ninety nine price. It's cost me five pounds, but really nice. I can't. I don't know who the artist is here. Is it? Uh, but it's really nice. It looks like uh, maybe Art John. Or yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's not sure is it a variant? It's a variant. Yeah, it's a very nice cover. I will. Put, I'll check out who the artist is and I'll put them in the in the edit. I'll edit. put who it is there. So that is our pickups from Gosh Comics on Bowick Street in London, the heart of the red light district. So this is how sad we are. We're 50 year old, 50 plus year old men. Well, he's slightly younger. Slightly younger. Uh, and we're visiting comic shops. There we go. That's it, guys. Enough said.